Hi everybody, welcome to the Leap.com video for November 2nd, 2011. Be sure to visit Leap.com, L-E-E-B.com to sign up for our free daily market forecast emails. Earlier today, the Federal Reserve released its uh, much anticipated statement following the uh, conclusion of its latest two-day uh, Federal Open Market Committee meeting. Uh, in the report, the Fed notes uh, slightly stronger growth uh, for the U.S. economy in the third quarter and uh, it also uh, retained the significant uh, downside risk assessment from last time and maintained its uh, stable long-term inflation outlook. Now, all in all, there was really uh, no surprise in the report uh, in light of slightly more positive economic data of late and uh, considering the fact that the Fed likely wants to leave some uh, powder dry should the Europe situation get even worse, it's uh, probably too soon uh, to uh, implement another major uh, expansion of the central bank's balance sheet. Uh, but to us, uh, what's more interest, what's more interesting uh, than the rather ho-hum content of the uh, statement was the way the committee uh, members voted this time. Uh, at the previous meeting, uh, there were three dissenting members who opposed additional easing via Operation Twist. Uh, this time around, all three of them have changed the tune, and uh, they believe that the current policy is warranted. Uh, the lone dissent at this time is Charles Evans, the longtime uh, dovish uh, Federal Reserve uh, Bank of Chicago president, uh, who wants more aggressive action. Uh, so this is essentially, essentially the opposite reason for dissension uh, than the threesome uh, from last time. So to us, that's a major sign uh, of changing climate at the Fed uh, in terms of uh, swinging more in favor of uh, uh, monetary easing and dramatically increases the chance for quantitative easing 3 or QE3. Uh, now how soon that will come uh, depends on how the U.S. economy fares and how the situation in Europe plays out. Now gold is still trading in the low 1700s uh, uh, as we uh, assess the situation uh, but uh, as soon as the market uh, sniffs the, the concrete possibility of QE3 uh, on the way uh, we think that uh, the metal could take off very quickly and uh, we think that you will want to have plenty of gold plays in your portfolio to profit from the move. Uh, that's, it for today. that's it for today. Thank you for watching and join us again.